happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Azrin, the language nerd here. And let's start off with a bit of a funny story. So in 2015, I think it would have been, I think it was 2015, I went to China for the first time. I was in Beijing. I'd gone for roughly a month, and it was just under a month, actually. And I was going because I wanted to practice Mandarin. And so what happened was that I was living with a Chinese family. I was, and I was also taking Mandarin classes. Now, the thing was that when you look at my personality, right, in some aspects of life, I like to prepare and be prepped, etc., etc. And in other aspects of life, I prefer to just wing things and just kind of go for it and just sort of jump in blind. And when it comes to traveling to different countries, in a lot of ways, sometimes I jump in blind in certain aspects. And so what ended up happening was on day one, I had met with a lady who had helped me organize the school and everything, all my classes, all that. And um, we went to eat some dinner, she ordered the dinner, we were chatting, etc, etc. However, the next day something interesting happened. I went, I had my classes in the morning, and then I went out for lunch. And what I hadn't thought through in advance was that I had no idea how to actually order food in Mandarin. Because at the time, my Mandarin was absolutely, like, garbage. It was really, really, really bad. I essentially didn't really speak at all. And so what happens is I walk in this restaurant, I look at the menu, and I was like, uh-oh, I can't read this. And I hadn't realized at the time that certain restaurants in Beijing will have either English translations or sometimes they will have um, pictures, but I hadn't known this at the time. So I'm sitting here going, what do I do with this? And I'm thinking, okay, let's Google um, how to say some different things in Mandarin. Here's a problem, though. There's no Google in China. Google is blocked in China. And I was like, okay, well, what the heck search engine can I use? Well, I didn't know what search engines they had in China. So I was like, oh my goodness, what the heck am I going to do about this? So <laughs> at the end of the day, what ended up happening was I was like, okay, I know how to say vegetable in Mandarin. So I called the waiter over and he's like, I assume he said something like, yes, what would you like to eat? I assume, I don't really know, but I assume that's what he said. And I ended up going vegetable. And he's like, what? And I was like, shu cai. Shu cai is vegetable. And I was like, shu cai. And he's like, what? And I was like, shu cai. He's like, huh? Shu cai. Over and over. Vegetable. 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 He's like, uh, okay, sure. Vegetable. So he, he goes to the back or whatever, right? And he gets, uh, <laughs> and he brings me, um, and he brings me a plate. I wish I could show you the picture. It's like a bowl of like, like, uh, eggplant and peppers and rice and it's all slimy and really not that delicious and so I was like oh my goodness I've got to learn how to order food so what did I do I <laughs> this is ridiculous I learned how to say noodles I learned how to say eggs I learned a couple of basic things so the next day I went to eat some food and what did I do I walked in I was like okay I just my goal at the time was I want to say something, order food, and get what I asked for. That was the only goal. And I was like, well, the only thing I could comfortably actually order is noodles and eggs. So what did I say? I was like, I would like, or I don't even think I said I would like. I wish I remembered. But it's probably something like one noodles and two eggs. <laughs> and what did I end up with? I mean, I wish I could show you the picture, but obviously this is an audio post. But what ends up happening? He brings me a bowl of just plain noodles, no flavor, no nothing, just plain old noodles, and two hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> and as I was in China, I would actually track my progress in Mandarin by the complexity of what I could order in a restaurant. Because the more complex things I could order, the more I felt like I was progressing. That was kind of one of my measures when the first time I was there. So anyway, that's a funny story for you guys today. Um, next up here, I'm going to play some call-ins for you guys that have come through. So I'm going to post the one of the call-ins and I'll answer probably in the next 30-45 minutes something like that so um, stay tuned here guys